first in Europe to introduce a digital nomad visa, DNB. Croatia has officially asserted its status as the most liked nomad hub in a survey conducted by Nomadist. Croatia is the most liked country with a rating of 4.9. In fact, it shares the honor with Japan, which also ranks at top of the chart with 4.9 points. Though it stands out as the highest peaking European country on the list, is it the picturesque villages straddling the Adriatic remote workers can't get enough of? The local friendliness? Or perhaps the pristine coastline and deep colored ocean? Having boldly launched the migration path as early as March 2021, while COVID dragged havoc in the continent and many nations were still hesitant to reopen for tourists, Croatia alone thought of the residents. It ensured it stayed on the top of the latest trend, outpacing other Mediterranean powers and claiming the title as Europe's top digital nomad hotspot. Croatia has not merely enshrined digital nomadism in law, it prepared its cities to welcome the new temporary residents. Be it establishing digital nomad villages in Zadar, where nomads could move for a minimum of two weeks and stay up to six months or opening several co-working spaces in the capital city of Zagreb, its leading financial center. On top of that, long-term home rentals have dominated Airbnb listings across Croatia, a clear sign digital nomads are priority customers heading into 2023. They will be able to find entire rental units in various cities, especially Trik Venica or Opatija two popular resort towns for as cheap as $504 USD a month, directly facing the ocean and within walking distance of various sites. You will never run out of the fun things to do in Croatia, such as trawling quaint towns, dating back centuries, exploring ancient fortresses, island hopping around the Adriatic coast, or sampling the award-winning cuisine ranked the 17th best in the world. If it's culture you're after, the old world charm is most easily experienced in cities like Zagreb, Pula and Zadar. Often overlooked, the Croatian capital is favoured by male nomads, appearing at number 12 on nomad list ranking of most liked cities by men. With a high concentration of cafes and bars, it is highly sought after city way, known for its bustling street life an amazing atmosphere. On this particular list, Split ranks highest at number 4. Other Croatian cities mentioned include Zadar, Dabrovnik and Havar. The 6th, 21st and 28th most popular destinations for attractive women. In turn, attractive men are particularly found of Zadar, a number 22 peaking beach gateway on the male base list. Lastly, Croatia is 5th most visited country by women and the 24th most visited overall. In sum, there are 7 main reasons why nomads are moving in drafts to Croatia. 1. It is the first country in Europe to have launched a digital nomad visa. 2. The cities are prepared to welcome the influx of temporary residents. In general, Croatians are open to hosting nomads. 4. Long-term stay options are plentiful. 5. The cultural offer is incredibly vast. 6. Coastal areas enjoy a year-round warmer weather. And 7. There are several work-friendly cafes and co-working spaces to pick from. If you are still confused whether to visit Croatia or not, or even you want to stay there, let us discuss 10 fun reasons. If we talk about adventurous sports, Croatia boasts of adventurous activities. Being a coastal country, it is a place for many water sports like sailing, kayaking or diving. But of course, there is much more. There are a lot of things to do in Omis, which is a paradise for adventure seekers. It has fantastic mountain top views. Most people know Croatia for its beaches, 
but it also has some gorgeous mountains as well. Hiking in Croatia is a great way to stumble upon some impressive views. Hiking up to Vidova Gora on Brack Island will give you the chance to see the Golden Horn from the top. Croatia has glorious sunsets. You will not be disappointed by the sunsets that you will experience in Croatia. There are some popular places where people like to head during the golden hour. Of course, the beaches. Many people visit Croatia because of its beautiful beaches. You will find that some are packed with tourists, like the symbol of Croatia, the golden horn, but there are plenty of hidden bays and beaches as well, where you can have the whole place to yourself. You can do island hopping. Island hopping is a great way to explore Croatia. This is typically done by sailing boats. You can also do it by kayak. Elafiti Islands are particularly easy to explore by kayak as they are quite close to each other. Croatia is rich in history. It is full of historical sites. The country displays over 2000 years of history. You will find some things in museums but most of the buildings are left as they were built and open to visitors. Croatia has natural parks. Croatia boasts of natural beauty. If you love the outdoors, you should definitely visit some of the country's national parks. There are eight national parks in Croatia. The most popular ones are Kraka and Ritvaj. They both make a great day trip from Split. It has the Game of Thrones appeal. With the sudden hit of Game of Thrones, companies quickly saw a business idea and started to organize Game of Thrones walking tours in the country. This is a great way to experience King's Landings in Split, Jabrubin and Tresto. Croatia has delicious food. Croatian cuisine is very delicious and varied depending on the region you visit. It can be divided into several different cuisines such as Dalmantian food, Istrian cuisine and continental cuisine. The dishes have been influenced by neighboring countries such as Hungary, Italy and Turkey. You can do wine tours in Croatia. If you are into luxury travel in Croatia and like the wine, you will be pleased to hear that Croatian wine is super delicious and won some rather prestigious awards in recent years.